Hello everyone, it's Gary with a video where I'm going to show you how I sell stuff. Stuff meaning CSGO items for real money. And uh, I'm going to be doing it on CS deals. I sell uh, CSGO items in two ways, to people directly and through a platform which is uh, CS deals nowadays for me. Uh, I pick them because of the as far as I can see, they have uh, they are right about they having the lowest commission, which is one percent. Um, a bit of a history for you guys. Um, so when CS:GO trading trading started to become a thing, uh, there was there was a wide west. There was no site to sell your stuff. You had to find people who wanted to buy it. It was quite a mess, then uh, came Opskins, but uh, they went to shit and the last time I checked they were selling sneakers, so it's off the table. Then everyone started using Bitskins, which was uh, suddenly just, uh, they announced that they are shutting down and everyone moved away quickly, then someone else bought it, but I have not used it since. And uh, when when I stopped using Bitskins, I switched to CSDS and I'm using it ever since. Now, I just logged into the site. Uh, as you can see, I have a um, pretty good amount of cash now that these are from sales. Uh, the last time I was selling stuff like this was about two weeks ago. I will probably still have some items that have not sold since. So let's check those quickly. Oh, I have more of these than I thought I would. So what I, I normally do here is that I, I go through this list and uh, adjust the price a bit. I'm, I lower the price so it might sell for a lower price sooner. Uh, because there are so many, I will probably not do it for every, each and every one of them. I will just so, show a few examples. So yeah, I want to sell for real money, and now it's it's a hundred. It's just for a hundred, and I'm going to um, make it ninety. Uh, let's do another one. It's listed for. Wait, was that the same that I just? Did I just the price on this one? I'm not sure. Oh, actually, you know, you're probably unfamiliar with price decay. It's uh, their algorithm, and I think I can. They have a better illustration somewhere. Yeah, it, it's right here. So price decay is basically you you set two prices and a range or a date. Uh, you set a starting price and an ending price, and when uh, this, when the counter goes to zero on this, uh, so I usually set it to 14 days, then it will reach this price. So in between, it, it decreases um, as, the, as time goes on. Um, but uh, I was uh, wrong about the two weeks because some of these are have not reached the target ending price just yet. So I'm going to leave those as they are and um, what I'm going to do is search for my item and uh, see if someone else is uh, selling similar items or the same item that I have listed. Um, so I can undercut their price probably if they're not selling it sort too cheap. So mine is uh, at 4.30 and it's a phase 4. So no one else is selling a phase 4. Uh, but since it's been up for over two weeks, I'm going to go ahead and um, adjust the price a bit. So it was listed at 4.30, now it's going to be listed at 4.10. I'm gonna do the same with the sport gloves. I'm guessing no one else is selling this. 
looks like I'm wrong uh, so mine is at 410 yeah that's me so there is one other guy who is has this listed this one is not tradable for three more days though it has better float than mine mine has a pretty shitty float yeah you get a float is kind of important for for the gloves this expensive so since it's, it's been up for a while I'm going to adjust the price to where did I just adjust this one no that was the I set the bio gamma to 410 so yeah as you can see CSDS has this strange bug when sometimes I select the price it, this pop-up window just closes it's kind of annoying but you can live with it I guess save so normally if I was not recording this I would be going through this list and do the same for each and every one of these items and by the way I forgot to mention that uh, you can find what I'm selling at the moment um, through my Steam profile for example I have this link to my CS deals store which is called so if you open my store here you can see all the items I have listed I'm going to include this link in the description if you like something you can buy it whatever um, now it's not important uh, so I showed you some price adjustments I will come back and do that later once I've stopped recording but now I'm going to actually sell some new items so my inventory loaded here finally uh, now important things here how I choose what I sell um, it's probably only important to me because if you want to sell something you know what you want to sell so I usually sell knives because it's not that much of a work to list them uh, rather than cheap items um, so obviously if they're more expensive I have to make fewer listings so that's less work and uh, probably knives and gloves uh, sell at a better percentage rate compared to the price and the real money price and uh, since I have many items I often have duplicates so I will be going from highest price to lowest price and check for duplicates now the first duplicate I have is this uh, M9 Slaughter Factory New. So what I do here is I I check it on the market for two things. I I'm copying the name and I'm checking the price at the same same time. So it's been selling for let's say 470 and uh, I'm going to search for it if anyone else is selling it yeah there are two listings and one of them is pretty cheap so I'm going to probably skip this one and find something else to sell something that no one else is selling most likely so if you're going down the list no duplicates Duplicates are marked by this or I, I guess I expanded it, but there, there should be a duplicate number on the top left corner No duplicates uh, There is one fucking knife fade I'm going to check it on market uh, Yeah, copying the name it's selling at 175 now let's search for it so there are three results two of these are marble fates so that's not relevant and someone has just listed one of these fucking fates so it's float is zero three selling at minus 27 that's pretty cheap actually I'm probably gonna skip this one too but I will I will just keep the market uh, page open so I remember to come back if I have to so I have two of these case hardened no one of them is that track that's uh, not a problem then 
I have two of these uh, gum uh, gum of Doppler gut knives. Um, well, it's gum of Doppler, so I should check the face price. But first, I'm going to s check if someone else is selling it. So mine are phase twos. There are two of these listed. Another one I might come back to and sell it anyway, but let's just move down the list. I have two of the Bayonet Knights. Let's check that. Selling at 140 if I'm generous. Yeah, no one else is selling it now. That's finally something that I can clearly sell. So we said the price is 140, and I'm usually aiming for a real money price of that is 70% of the CS:GO price or whatever the market price, um, which is about 120 in this case. But this is in euros and I need to list it in dollars which would be 130 so let's select one I usually pick one pick the one with the better float uh, I think people are people tend to wait what uh, I want to sell items not trade okay this is Again, CSDS is not user friendly. You have to switch between types of things you do and types of items you search for. It's pretty complicated. But now, let's hope it, the inventory loads soon. Yep, here it goes. And I'm trying to sell this. Actually, this bayonet, finally. So, you have two options here, sell for trade tokens. Now, if you want to sell for real money, you have to pick the other one, sell for real money, sure. Now, we established that the ending price, why is it set so low? I think I, I think I probably miscalculated a bit, wait, what? So 140 and I need 70%. So 90. I don't know, it's something I missed here. I probably mis mistyped the numbers. So the price, uh, real money price is going to be 98 euros. That is 105 in dollars. Now these seem more correct. So the ending and it disappeared on me. Okay. 105. Wait one thing, you can see the sales history of similar items. We are in the range. I said 105. The more recent ones sold for over that. Even one with the bad food sold for 120 two weeks ago. So I will probably set the end price. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it at one. 05, but I will set the starting price at 125 and the time span is going to be 14 days now why 14 days as you can uh, as you probably all know that once an item is traded it will not be tradable for seven more days which applies to bot accounts as well. So when uh, I will list this item and make the trade with the CSDS bot, the item will have a countdown counting down from seven days to zero. And uh, then it becomes tradable. Now people are much more likely to buy your item once it becomes tradable. So you probably don't want to set it at seven if you choose to use price decay uh, because you you will be selling it for the cheapest price when most people want to buy it and that does not make much sense I think um, so I'm going to go with 
14 days and now you said you have to click save here and also not user friendly you would think that this item is now added to your sales queue or whatever no it isn't you have to click this don't forget it because when you select the next item it would have disappeared so let's do the next one uh, I have two of these uh, gut knives gut marbles they're going for let's say 130 let's see if uh, CSDS has any listed they do there is one it's minimal hour though so it's kind of irrelevant I will sell this one so we said 130 70 percent of that is 91 91 euros to dollars is 98 okay let's select the one with the better float we are aiming for 98 the last two sales have been lower than that before that they are more expensive I think I'm going to set the ending price to 100 and uh, I say 100 and 125 is the starting price and two weeks for the spam um, okie do let's move on I have two of these Tetrack op now on ours they probably have one of these selling yes for some reason people are selling this a lot there are five of these listed let's skip this check the knowledge uh, slaughter factory new. selling 420 on CSDS um, there is one in minimal wear, so it does not really matter 120 now you can use my extension for this these calculations uh, I've only done it to show you this feature actually what I usually do is I type in 125 this is to the, the browser's address bar and uh, I multiply by multiply by 0 0.7 and uh, I type euros to dollars which gonna be 90 so select the one with the better float this one price say history is similar so it's 90 the ending price starting at 120 for example add to the list now no duplicate there is a duplicate here stiletto ultraviolet Okay, I need that. Selling, let's round up to 115. Let's see if someone else is selling it. It's minimal wear. So let's say we said 15. Okay, 115 times 0 0.7 euros to dollars. It's 86. We go with that. I'm gonna sell this one. I will probably round it up to 90 because these are worse floats sold for 90. This bug is so annoying. If someone from <laughs> disappeared on again. If someone from CSDS is watching this, please do fix it because it's it's making my blood pressure higher honestly fuck uh fuck you on one ela is the next one yeah one uh, one ela's are a bit hard to search for because it returning all the results for the fucking knives but i yeah there are two actually there are many of these i'm going to skip this one and check on the Bowie's Bowie Boreal. Do they have one of these? 
Minus Fiatusted, yes. There is a minimal we're selling, I'm going to sell mine. So it's 90 times 0 0.7 euros to dollars. 68, let's make that 70. Actually, this one has great float. I'm going to list it for the ending as 75 and starting it as 95. Added. Let's uh, find one or two more. Let's check the Bowie for no, it's Bowie Ultra. Uh, let's check the listings. There is a field tested one. I have well worn ones. Selling at 103 times zero rose to dollars. 78 let's say I mean it's, they are well worn so the floats are kind of irrelevant um, what was it uh, 78 start from 95 add to the list find on the blue steel also in well worn they probably won't have one of these is the factory new selling now mine is 90 68 I should list it for that A 68 that was 67 68 is <coughs> You're kidding me here. Start from 80. Flip Forest is next one. In field tested condition or exterior. There's Wellborn selling, but I don't care about that. 93. So let's make it 70. Best float. Mm -hmm. 85. All right. Do, do, do. Let's check these hands when I have three of these. I want to get rid of them, or at least one of them. No one is selling it. Great. They sell for 87 on the market. 65 is what I should list it for. This is pretty decent float. I think it, this will sell. Uh, jet sets, I have two of these, but I think I already tried to sell them and I always see listed ones on CS deals. Probably these as well, there are some of these. These are not the same. Let's say fuck you on Safari. Alright. Wellborn bottle scarred, I have field tested. Cool. 70 is the price on the market 52 in dollars and I should sell this one what did I say 53 come on listed for 65 St starting at add Here we're again, we are getting the end of the listing stuff. We have only two to check. Daggers Ultra, sending at 9, 70, 70. And there's a Statrek one listed. I'm going to ignore that. 
list this one for 53 as ending 65 as starting and check the last knife that I have a duplicate of so this gust forest setting it 67 they only have a um, stat track battle scar this is kind of cheap isn't it 15 mm, probably not that cheap but could be a okay deal now I wanted to 50 is the price Uh, do, do. Hmm, I have one with, with great float. I'm going to try to get 60 for that. What? It's not. I fixed it. Disappear, please. Go away. Add. Okay. So let's click list for sale. And hopefully I'm going to get an offer from the bot now. The offer that is taking my items away. It's kind of scary to accept uh, such offer when you know you're basically gifting over a thousand euros to a bot, but. Um, they paid out so far, so I don't worry that much anymore. Now, yep, confirmed. So, if I check my sales, then they appeared here right that's all good again i will check more of the uh, order listings once i stop recording now i wanted to show you the cashing out part uh, and that's gonna be deposit and withdrawal yeah i used to cash out with skrill but it's uh, Temporary disabled. I think it's been like this for it's definitely over a month, but more like two months now. Um, so that's kind of sad. PayPal is not an option anymore. PayPal has basically cut ties with skin selling uh, businesses. So now what I do is I do bank transfer. Wait. It says Krill is with disabled, but it's listed. It's weird. I'm going to just do the bank transfer. So again, it's a, it's a bit awkward. As you can see, there is no option in which currency you want to, um, to transfer it. And your balance is in dollars. I'm forced to forced to cash out in euros. And um, basically, I want to want to withdraw my my all, all, all my balance. But I have to set it. No, that's confusing. So I basically have to guess uh, how much I have to enter in euros to cash out most of my items. So let's make it a bit more. Yeah, I, th this will lead uh, one dollars in my in my balance. Now I will probably not show you my iBond, but maybe why not? Basically. Nowadays I use TransferWise um, because they have low fees for international bank transfers. 
I might cut this part uh, from the video if I show something sensitive. Uh, and I need my IBAN. Cash ad request, request has been submitted. So I usually get uh, the money in one or two business days. Let's hope it, it's gonna be that way this time as well. I think that's about it. Now I mentioned in the beginning that uh, there are two ways that I sell items. The other one is uh, to people directly. I will probably make a video about that as well later on. I hope it, this was useful to some of you. Subscribe, like, etc. Bye.